Good afternoon, everybody. This is Father Rob. Again, welcoming you back to our page. Three o'clock in the afternoon, we gather together to pray the rosary, to pray for Our Lady's protection and intercession for our, our lives, for our parish, for our families, and for the world. So I'd like to welcome all of you who are coming back. And for all of those who are new, I again invite you to like this page, share it, and uh, so we can continue to be that community of faith with each other during this time of the pandemic. So uh, again, uh, welcome to all of you who are here. By the way, if you are interested in me still doing before the rosary these little reflections, please re let me know. I'm not really sure uh, if the interest level is there. One or two people have said so, but if not, I can, always, I can go straight to the rosary if necessary. So in the comments, if you think that's a good idea, these little reflections, just let me know. And uh, and I, and I can continue to do that. It does take a little time to do each reflection, of course, um, in terms of preparation, but I'm willing to do that if there's an interest there. So I just wanna, as an interaction, bring that up to the forefront before we kind of go with today. So um, I'm gonna do one real quick, and it's tied in with the gospel for this morning about Jesus Christ being the light coming into the, into the world. Archbishop Fulton Sheen, I mentioned this before, Archbishop Fulton Sheen had said that fire has two qualities, light and heat. Heat is, the heat stands for passion. The light stands for truth. So Jesus speaking to the crowds talks about himself as that he is the, the light, he is the truth. And that light that illumines our way through, through life and offers us a better path. Now, that light, if you think about today, today's a beautiful day. It's about 65 degrees here in Wisconsin today. And you think about the light shining on plants, and they need that light to be able to grow. We need that light for ourselves, for, uh, believe it or not, for some vitamins. I'm not a scientist or a doctor, but I do know that the light does help with our moods. It gives us, I believe, some kind of energy ourselves in ways I don't think we can fully understand yet with our bodies. But the light really does something to us. But also light is that, that truth. That's why Jesus says over and over again that he is the light of the world, the light leading us to the truths about ourselves, the truths about the world that is around us, and not to be sucked into the spirit of the world as he calls it. So just that little reflection about Jesus being the light of the world. And this happens a number of times in Scripture, in, not only in John chapter 1, but also in chapter 9. John, in his, uh, his recollection of the story of Jesus and the blind man, and uh, Jesus saying that he is the light of the world. And today again in the Gospel of John, uh, chapter 12, I believe it is, again, Jesus, Jesus is uh, referral to himself again as the light. The light illuminating our way. And needing that light of Christ, especially now to, to lead us to all truth, but I like to give us uh, that certainty in a time of uncertainty. We have a lot of things that we can control, but there are other things that we can't. And we have to really trust more in Christ to really illumine our way, to illumine our thinking so that we might be able to see more clearly Christ. And that's really important, especially in these confusing times that we we live in today. So let's pray for that illumination every day of our life that the Lord Jesus will, that we allow ourselves to be led by Jesus to, to know what is the right way according to what God wants. A lot of times we always go about, what do I want? Which is true. But also, what does God want? What does God want me to be doing today? What does God want me to be doing at this hour and time right now? So we pray for that illumination, and that's why in our prayer we ask for the grace for God to reveal, to kind of pull the curtain, if you will, to allow us to walk in the ways that God wants us to be. And so the Lord will talk a lot about that idea of light and illumination. By the way, we're called to be illumination ourselves to others. That's why Jesus said, uh, I believe it's in Matthew, where he goes, You are the light of the world, so let your light shine so brightly before others. In other words, our life is to be a giant light illuminating the path for others to follow God because we can so easily be led in other directions in life. So you and I are called just as to be illuminated by Jesus. We in turn illuminate others around us. We become sort of, a, I guess in a way, kind of like a flashlight for other people. 
and, and leading those who are kind of off the beaten path, if you will, uh, to come back to the path through our example and through our love for uh, one another. That's very important today as we uh, continue this time of Easter together. So we're going to do uh, the rosary today, as I said, and we'll do these the glorious mysteries. Today is Wednesday, so we'll do the glorious mysteries, most holy rosary. And uh, I don't, uh, whatever intentions you have, just please lift them below. I know as we've been going along these past uh, 50 live streams together, uh, a number of people have been putting on intentions about people who are sick. That seems that come one comes a lot. And it's not COVID-19 specifically, although one or two times that's, that has come up. But a lot of times cancer or something else kind of comes up. Um, again, I like to pray for, um, for people who have lost their jobs or are furloughed during this time. You know, not only worrying about the virus that's bad enough as it is, but also the fact that people who don't have employment at all uh, is a great stress and uh, ang source of anxiety for people. So we pray for those today. We offer these prayers for those who are looking for employment so they can keep food on their table, to try to pay for some kind of insurance or some kind of medical care for themselves or other uh, money that's needed for expenses. Let's pray for those who, um, who, who need our prayers in that area. And uh, for all of those we bring to our prayer today, we make the sign of our faith together and begin this in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, the Creator of heaven and of earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven. And he sits at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. For there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For the increase of the theological virtues of faith, of hope, and love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. The five glorious mysteries in the Most Holy Rosary. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection of our Lord from the dead. And the angel said, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. And for the fruits of this mystery, let us pray for an increase in faith. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of our Lord Jesus into heaven. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of the Father. And for the intercession, for rather for the fruit of this mystery, let us pray for an increase in hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. Amen. Eucharistic. Amen. The third mystery of our faith is the descent of the Holy Spirit upon Our Lady and the Apostles. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. 
and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. And for the fruit of this mystery, let us pray for a greater love of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father. And to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery of the Most Holy Rosary is the Assumption of a Lady's Body and Soul into Heaven. You are the glory of Jerusalem. You are the great boast of our nation. You have done great things for Israel, and God is pleased with them. May the Almighty Lord bless you forever. And for the fruits of this mystery, let us pray for a grace for a happy death. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And the fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of our Blessed Mother as Queen of Heaven and Earth. And a great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. And for the fruit of this mystery, let us pray for trust in Mary's intercession. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us in the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. And let us now pray the prayers of our Holy Father at this time. There we go. Now that we'll get it. Let us pray, O Mary. You shine continuously in our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the foot of the cross were united with Jesus' suffering and persevered in your faith. Protected us of the Roman people, you know our needs, and we know that you will provide so that as, so that, as at Cana in Galilee. Join celebration and return after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the will of the Father, and to do what Jesus tells us, 
For he took upon himself our suffering and burdened himself with our sorrows to bring us to the cross, the joy of the resurrection. Amen. We fly to your protection, most holy mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from every danger. O glorious and blessed ever virgin, amen. Let's pray the second prayer. We fly to your protection, most holy mother of God. In the tragic, present tragic situation when the whole world is prey to suffering and anxiety, we fly to you, Mother of our God and our Mother, and seek refuge under your protection. O most blessed Virgin Mary, turn your merciful eyes toward us amid this coronavirus pandemic. Comfort those who are distraught, mourn their loved ones who have died and at times and are buried in a way that grieves them deeply. Be close to those who are concerned for their loved ones who are sick and who, in order to prevent the spread of the disease, cannot be close to them. Fill with hope those who are troubled by the uncertainty of the future and the consequences of the economy and, uh, and employment. Mother of our God and our Mother, pray for us to God, the Father of mercies, that the great suffering may end and that hope and peace may dawn anew. Plead with your divine Son, as you did at Cana, so that families of the sick and the victims be comforted and their hearts be open to confidence and trust. Protect those doctors, nurses, health workers, and volunteers who are on the front line of this emergency and are risking their lives to save other people. Support their heroic effort and grant them strength, generosity, and continued health. Be close to those who assist the sick night and day, to priests who in the pastoral concern and fidelity to the gospel are trying to help and support everyone. Blessed Virgin, illumine the minds of men and women engaged in scientific research that they may find effective solutions to overcome this virus. Support national leaders that with wisdom, solicitude, and generosity they may come to the aid of those lacking basic necessities and may devise social and economic solutions inspired by farsightedness and solidarity. Mary Most Holy, stir our consciences so that the enormous funds invested in developing and stockpiling arms will instead be spent on promoting effective research on how to prevent similar tragedies from this happening again in the future. Beloved Mother, help us to realize we are all members of one great family and to recognize the bond that unites us so that in the spirit of fraternity and in the spirit of charity and solidarity, we can help to alleviate countless situations of poverty and need. Make us strong in faith, persevering in service, constant in hope. O oh Mary, consolation of the afflicted, embrace all your children in distress and pray that God will stretch out his all powerful hand to set us rather stretch out his all powerful hand and free us from the terrible pandemic so that life may serenely resume its normal course. To you, O shine, and as a sign of salvation and hope that we trust ourselves, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Amen. St. John Paul II, pray for us. St. Faustina, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So again, Mass is tomorrow at 815, and again, Rosary back here at 3 o'clock. We can pray together. So always remember that Our Lady loves you. Jesus, our Lord, He loves you. God bless you all. Have a beautiful day and enjoy it. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.